Two U.S.-based defense contractors are working on what could be the most promising solution to the problem of drone swarms yet. The two, General Dynamics and Epirus Incorporated, are teaming up to place a high-powered microwave cannon on an armored vehicle used by the U.S. Army. The result could be a weapon capable of tackling drone swarms and disabling vehicles on land and at sea, but the big question is how it would affect human beings. One of the most dangerous new threats to U.S. troops is the threat of drone attacks. In 2016, an ISIS drone killed two Kurdish fighters and injured two French Special Forces operators. In response, the U.S. military quickly deployed handheld drone defender counter-drone weapons to U.S. troops in the Middle East, and at home, began plotting how to counter this new threat. Attacks by weaponized drones, especially those traveling in swarms, are a serious concern to air forces around the world. The prospect of an inexpensive $300 drone wrecking an $80 million fighter jet is a real one. The U.S. Air Force has not suffered a drone attack yet, but an attack is inevitable and the service wants to be ready when the time comes. All of this began a brand new arms race, as two sides, drone and counter-drone, have raced to outdo each other, using new technology to exploit gaps in the opponent's capabilities. The counter-drone side deploys jammers, and in response, the drone side deploys self-navigating robots. The counter-drone side deploys machine guns, shotguns, and lasers, and the drone side moves to network-enabled swarms designed to overwhelm human defenders. For now, drones have the upper hand. That could change with the introduction of high-powered microwave weapons, like those General Dynamics and Apparis are working together on. The two defense contractors are cooperating to build a new short-range air defense weapon system, one they hope the Army could adopt for area drone defense. The new system involves equipping a General Dynamics Striker 8x8 wheeled infantry armored vehicle with a Leonidas high-powered microwave system. Leonidas can fire shotgun-like pulses of electromagnetic energy, shorting out the electronics of any drone in the pulse's path. Leonidas, radiating out from the spatula-like antenna, like the birdshot from a shotgun, has the potential to take out multiple drones with a single broadside. The Striker Leonidas was recently field demonstrated at a U.S. government testing site, successfully disabling individual drone targets and swarms of drones. The integration of Leonidas, the world's most powerful HPM, high-power microwave phased array, with Striker, the U.S. Army's largest and most reliable combat vehicle fleet, brings counter-electronics capabilities to the front lines, providing a proven and cost-effective layered defense solution for the maneuver force. Leonidas's counter-swarm effectiveness fills a pressing short-range air defense, or SHORAD, capability gap for the joint force as the threat of swarming drones continues to endanger troops and civilians overseas and in the homeland. With its open architecture, Leonidas can integrate with a range of command and control platforms to detect, track, and defeat the increasing deployment of drone technology by adversaries and non-state actors. The Striker Leonidas features onboard and networked target acquisition and mobility to accompany all maneuver formations. The Striker Leonidas maintains all the protection and mobility features of the original Striker 8x8 armored vehicle. The rear of the vehicle has been modified to host the Leonidas High Power Microwave Array. The U.S. Air Force also has developed two microwave drone weapons, the Tactical High Powered Responder, or THOR, and Phaser to protect air bases from drone swarms. The THOR was developed by the Air Force Research Lab as a counter-swarm electromagnetic weapon. THOR also ships in a shipping container, takes three hours to set up, and according to AFRL, requires very little operator training. THOR also uses high-powered microwaves and costs just $19 million to develop. The THOR provides a non-kinetic effect to bring down multiple targets. It operates from a wall plug on the ground and uses a focused beam of energy to defeat drones. The anti-drone solution uses high-power electromagnetic effect to disable the electronics on UAS systems. 
It can bring about a near instantaneous effect by launching the silent weapon in less than a second upon identification of the target. The system uses bursts of intense radio waves for instantly defeating small UAS swarms. The system output provides greater engagement range and reduced engagement time when compared to bullets or nets. It uses high-powered microwaves instead of high-energy lasers as they provide the capability to kill swarms of drones instead of killing one at a time. The Phaser is a microwave energy weapon developed by Raytheon. It is a microwave radar transmitter mounted on top of a shipping container. It doesn't cook a drone with heat. Instead, the weapon disrupts or destroys their circuits with a burst of overwhelming energy. The phaser needs just one microsecond to overwhelm a drone's electronics, sending it plunging to the ground. The conical nature of the beam means that a single pulse can catch several drones in midair at once, making phaser particularly useful against drone swarms. The U.S. Air Force spent $16.28 million for one prototype phaser high-powered microwave system for a field assessment for purposes of experimentation in an unspecified location outside the U.S. The test is expected to be completed by December 20th, 2020, making the overseas deployment against real-world or simulated hostile vignettes imminent. As the Pentagon begins to develop and field high-powered microwave weapons, one unresolved question is how these microwaves affect living things. Powerful bursts of the right kind of electromagnetic radiation can cripple or kill, or just cause enough pain to make someone go away. The US military fielded the Active Denial System, a microwave radiation-based crowd control system designed to ward off rioters with bursts of pain in 2012. The active denial system doesn't employ an infrared beam, but instead uses shallow, pain-producing millimeter waves. What you are feeling is not your skin cooking, but you're feeling a sensation of pain. If you get out of the line of fire, you don't have a red spot. Those who have experienced it comment that it feels like your skin is on fire. Although human beings are not the targets of this new weapon, its use against crude ground vehicles and boats could expose the people aboard them to microwave energy. Then again, as long as the system doesn't inflict serious injuries, it's probably safer to the people aboard to disable a vehicle's engines with microwave radiation than it is with a 30mm automatic cannon. What do you think of the powerful microwave weapon? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to Military World to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.